Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the fillet and chamfer features in Onshape. So as you can see there's four activities to work through and these are quite quick activities and you can see starting off with a green one it's quite easy and then we progress towards the more advanced and looking at a variable fillet in the master or purple activity. So we're going to start with first of all this simple activity here where we're going to learn about adding a fillet and we're going to look at the options of circular, conic and curvature. So on the bottom we've a number of tabs. This tab here gives us an overview of the different activities or challenges and if you click on the icons for YouTube that goes to the videos to show you what to do basically, so the online tutorials. If you click this tab here it gives you a quick overview of the different resources and uh, tutorials are available if you click on some of those links and for this one we've got a drawing we've got a tutorial tab so this is the one we're going to use and we've also got a reference model as well so we're going to look at the fillet first the fillet can be found on the top toolbar here and if you hover over it it gives you a bit of a preview an explanation of how you can use the tool and also it gives you the shortcut or shift and F. So as you can see here, what we've got is a simple cube with some holes in it, which we designed in the extrude tutorials. And what we're going to do now is add some fillets. So a fillet is added for a number of different reasons. One, aesthetics, so it makes the design look better, okay, by rounding off the edges. It can also be added to improve, uh, say, ergonomics, if a person's going to hold this or interact with a product. And it can also be added for manufacturing purposes as well, which we can look at in future tutorials. So what we've got here is this cube with holes in it, as I've said, and we've added, first of all, if you right click in this and have a look, we've added a 10 millimeter simple circular, okay, fillet on those edges. So if we come to the tutorial tab, we can now apply these ourselves. So if we go to the top, click on fillet, we can then select these edges here. Now, within Onshape, there's no reason to hold control or shift or anything like that, as you might have done in other CAD programs. You just click on these edges and they will appear in here. If you need to delete them, you can to remove those, and then you can always add those back, uh, depending on what you want. So I'm gonna go along here, and I'm gonna select all these outer okay, edges. And the reason I'm selecting these in one go is I want all these to be equal so I'm going to apply the same fillet to all those external edges like so. So those are all selected in there. I usually keep the tangent selected okay and then what we've got here is the size so we could type in the size and just click and that will update as you can see and if you look at a different angle and we're zooming on a corner like this you can see what it's done it's basically rounded this off by 10 millimeters and if I change this you will see that round will change. So I'm just going to update that back to 10. And what you've got as well here is you've got some other options here. So the simplest one is, and the one that is used mostly is the circular. You do have other options. If you click on a drop down, you have conic. So conic, you can change the radius, but you've also got another value here. So if you change that, you will see this will change as well. So if I type in 0.1, you can see that shape changes there. Okay, so that, that sort of profile. And if I update this again, you can see here, I hope that update that a little bit at a time. Okay, how that's pulling out and changing that radius there. So again, you've got another option as well. You can look at curvature this time. And if you put that to, so that standard is 0.5. Okay, to get that same, if you're just using a circular one, but if you change that to say 0.1, for example, and click, okay, you see it's actually disappeared now because it's too small. So we go back to 0.5, and we try, say, a slightly higher value. Okay, you again, you can see how that's gonna change that, okay, radius there. We're gonna talk about the variable fillet rate later on, so we won't tick that. Now for this one, I'm just going to go for a circular, okay, 10 millimeter bog standard filler. Now you can see that it's rounded off the edge. If I drag that back in time, 
you've got a before and then you've got an after and that can be renamed you can add a comment to that if you need to come back later or if you've uh, added that for some reason and you're sharing this document with somebody they can read the comment and you've got other options for delete and so on and like I say you could click on edit and go back in and change that now what you've got to do in Onshape, which is a bit different from some of the CAD programs, is that you, if you want, for example, these to be filleted a different size, you have to create a separate feature. So that feature's been created for those. I now want a different size on here. So if I go to my drawing and have a look, okay, I can see that it's got a five millimeter fillet. So if again, if I come back to here, click on filler I can now select okay all these edges if you select the wrong edge like that you can always click on it again or you can find it in here and just deselect it and as you can see there I can spin this around now using my mouse and I'm just selecting these so I've got everyone selected and if we go to here Okay, again, you can change these values. If you go too big, it may come up with an error. But what I'm going to do is just going to set that to 5. So if you remember, the outside was 10, and that's 5, like so. And again, it appears on here. So you can have a before, and you can have an after view. There you go. Nice and easy, really simple. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe. And also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.